Fashion for most people is style, but for this man, fashion is his passion. That's exactly why he looks at every human as a canvas, and hence the brand human. Hi Pranav, thank you so much for joining us on this uh, "Do What Floats Your Boat" podcast. It's uh, uh, powered by Boat and uh, IVM. Uh, to begin with, how do you spell human? It's spelled H-U-E-M-N. Okay. <laughs> How did you get around to that spelling? Yeah, there's a little story. So when we started the brand, mm-hmm. I think it was the first day. Mm. Uh, we had just registered our company, and Shyam and I were taking a auto from our little office in Shahpur Jhat in Delhi. Mm. So like, what should the name be? Mm. So we, we figured it has to be something simple and something around human beings because that's the space which I uh, personally like. Mm. I like to feel like I'm a storyteller. Okay. Uh, never identify myself a designer or anything else. Mm. So like I want to do something in the space of people. Mm. So organically, just in a matter of time, you know, it, I said it should be human. Mm. And then Shama something really cool. She's like, you know, how vibrant we all are mm. and how diverse we all are, mm. just like colors. Oh, the hue, you know. H-U-E. So it it was just like you know we were just uh, playing around wordplay uh, in the auto ride home, uh, and then was like we just like gave fist bump. It's like oh we got our name, <laughs> you know. See, sir, I wasn't wrong. I started spelling it wrong, but even you guys somewhere started there and yeah. eventually yeah, arrived yeah, yeah, at yeah, this. Yeah. And you've done incredibly <clears throat> well for yourself. And uh, we're talking about uh, people sort of trail blazing and changing the game. Where are you on that? How much of the game has changed since human sort of coming onto the fashion scene? I think it's become the fashion space in India right now is so exciting. Mm. Uh, it's so vibrant. Mm. Uh, it's taken a long course to actually. For the industry to come here till here, because mm. I remember when we had started out, there was a lot of curiosity and attention around Indian homegrown brands which want to do something in the space. You want to make something which can, uh, which is equally relevant, no matter where you come from, India, mm. Japan, America. Mm. That's the kind of space that I wanted to create my brand around. Mm. Um, so definitely, there was there were editorials talking about that space. There were mm. you know the, you, people were picking on that subject mm. and identifying artists who were in that space. Mm. But there was no market around it. Mm. And now when I see today in 2022, it's a huge market that we're sitting on. You know, so it's mm. taken a long time, mm. but uh, currently it's a very exciting, dynamic, and uh, progressive space. So so Pranav, you're from <coughs> Delhi. You live in Delhi. Currently, yes, but I am originally from Lucknow. Lucknow, yeah. So, uh, in Delhi, for example, most of the designers that I know, they straight go for the money and the easiest business, which is weddings. Yeah. Why didn't you choose to make kurta, pajama, lehenga, sari? That's that's a very very interesting question. But yeah. uh, you know, um, throughout my life, I've yeah. always been a, around. You know, fortunately, I've always been around artists who've encouraged me to be in a space where you create value. Mm. Now money is sort of you know a byproduct uh, i would say a, it's a it's a measurable value mm. but there are different other values that one individual can create which you don't pay enough attention to mm. which if you pay enough attention to early on mm. they give you very big and good returns over a period of time right uh, brand value is one of those right where how are you planning to position your brand what is the soul of the brand hmm. what's the problem that you've identified in your community hmm. that you're trying to solve with your brand hmm. money will come hmm. as an artist you know uh, if you believe in your product and if you are you're invested wholeheartedly into it hmm. money is going to come it's going to take a while yeah i've been invested uh, for a while made no money man <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've always been encouraged by you know my friends and family yeah. to just keep pushing that boundary. Like, are you leaving uh, an impact uh, with your work right. around people? Right. Once you get that connect, mm. then it's a free flow from there. So it's interesting. You spoke about making a difference. You speak about you know giving back to the community at large and doing something that makes a difference, right? Uh, what are the problems that you've managed to solve as human, or what are the problems that you identified? I don't look at it that from that view. The way I look at it is that I've learned a lot f- through human. Mm-hmm. As an artist, I want to grow. Mm. Very selfish in that front. Mm. And the way I see me growing is only when I'm uh, 
surrounded by the right set of people mm. the right set of artists mm. um um even in the community human i feel like since the beginning has always been a reflection of its society mm. uh, you know uh, so i'm desperate to throw myself into situations into areas where i get to learn mm. and human is just sort of a screen where you see how we as artists feel mm-hmm. and we are just trying to convey our viewpoint through that medium mm. what impact it's making uh, is something beyond measure i see if uh, if uh, if a college kid is looking at our imagery or our clothes and in, and is inspired even one human being is inspired in uh you know uh, even a remote fashion yeah. to contribute uh, yeah. in this space or any other creative space it, i think my job is done you know it's beautiful you <laughs> mentioned that do you know of a story or do you know of a moment where you had this college kid walk up and say uh, i don't know i saw a t-shirt of yours and abcd happened to me you know we had done a show and okay. um, it it was basically uh, we had you know taken all the uh, um uh, you know uh, extra fabrics and leftovers from a community of our designers and we wanted to create a space and create a dialogue around uh, over production hmm. and uh, the sustainable space we wanted to create a dialogue mm so we did a show and you know we had a presentation and after the presentation i remember this uh, girl had had walked up to me and she was like can i hug you Mm. so i was like yeah you know i feel very delighted when by that human embrace and then she had tears in her eyes and she was like and she was a college kid and she was like i was deeply moved by this presentation mm. uh, so thank you for doing that oh i thought she saw the price tag of your t-shirts i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> it's it's expensive i <laughs> do this sorry yeah so mm. i think that was very delightful right. and similarly you know people people write to me people write to me emails people write handwritten notes to me saying uh, what just just the way they feel about uh, you know the work that we are doing mm. whether it's my poetry or whether it's the work that we do at human mm. there's always been a connection with people that i'm excited about mm. so the return is also i get really excited about if somebody gets moved by what you know wherever we've tried to move a needle mm. if i made that connection i feel very happy and that's amazing right because in every sense of the word you truly are an artist i was um reading up about you and i figured your love for poetry and how it kind of kicked off in 2020 but the story of how you got to poetry is very fascinating was it a kid in your class who was writing something about cricket yeah what is that story yeah yeah so it all started from that i'm very competitive by nature okay i remember i was in 8th grade hmm so this guy you know um one day he just wrote a poem on cricket what is his name um Ashish Singh three. There were three Ashishes. Ashishes. Okay. okay. So if he would be listening to this, he'd know. You know, the Ashish three Singh three we had identified. Okay. It, so now this guy had written a poem on cricket, mm. and uh, all of a sudden there was immense attention that you know he got. And Do you remember were, any of the lines of that no, poetry? No, Nothing. No. So I, you know, I got. I was like, wow. Mm. And my father was a poet, right? So and uh, I had a big command on. you know hindi language hmm. uh, which is my first language so i you know that just moved me you know it just uh, it just poked me to do something in that space so i hmm. i reached home and you know i just took a pen and paper and i wrote my first poem eventually i went went to my class and and i recited that and people liked it and then that motivated me to do more and Lovely. then eventually my teachers encouraged me lovely but in the true sense i found poetry much later it's you know it's a it's a space any art form is a space where it's you keep you have to keep evolving mm. you look back one year back what you've done and doesn't make sense mm. you know mm. that's interesting because it looks like you you know a grew up in a beautiful city like lucknow and uh, you had such a good ecosystem around you how important is it for teachers parents friends to just encourage someone to go out there and do what floats their boat the most important thing i think you know right. i think you've just summed up uh, th- this statement only does not need any explanation mm. it's so important the foundation of a child is so important mm. and the most important part of that foundation is for somebody to have that belief in what the child believes in Mm. you know it might be the most silliest idea but there needs to be one anchor in your life who uh, who wholeheartedly feels that 
you know whatever you think is right mm. just that human trust is such a strong emotion in any relationship mm. in any equation friendship mm. the moment you feel like the someone is blindly trusting you mm. human beings are built in that manner that you feel like you don't want to break that trust trust Yeah. If you just know that that person is blindly trusting you, yeah. My father was one of that figure, lovely. You know, uh, who's uh, no matter how I felt, how I thought, whether I'm performing, he he didn't care about numbers, he didn't care about whether I'm coming, you know, first in my class or whatever. He's like, this all does not matter. My mother would get very uh, angry mm. um, if my numbers are moving here. And then my father was like, this does not matter in life. Even if you don't go to school, it does not matter. Wow. What's most important is. that we are sitting in land of people if you have gained even one person's true love mm. that person's going to be your team wow and that's the only way you can make a difference in your society yeah so it's not about what you give yeah that giving will come eventually when yeah. you understand people so first understand and uh, wholeheartedly understand people yeah. and also understand that people are very different So you Hopefully. have to keep exposing yourself from time to time to different sets of ideas, and you have to be like a sponge. You yeah. can't have a rigid point of view that you know. You no, know, and and it's beautiful, right? Because you're talking about your dad in what year? We're talking about eighties, seventies. Yeah, I'm born in eighty four, so my growing up years was nineties. You know, nineties. And what a forward thinking person was he? Yeah. A poet full time? He wasn't a poet full time. He's a government servant, but uh, he was. Uh, he, I unfortunately lost him in two thousand eighteen due to cancer. Right, uh, but he's he was a uh, an insane person. No, I'm not just saying it because he's my dad. Yeah, but I f- feel like he went too soon, and a lot of people needed to. I'm just a reflection of you know, like a remote reflection of what he was. Lovely, and he was an insanely beautiful man. Nah, but I think a lot of people come in, do their job, touch lives, change lives, and when they've done their part, yeah. they leave, and then they just let. people like you inspire another generation um i, I, I want to understand human right like let's just kind of uh, uh uh finish this journey and then i want to get back to your poetry do you remember starting this do you remember what was it like to acquire your first customer yeah do you remember who that was yeah yeah i remember who it was it was one of our friends um and um uh, Yeah, it took us a long time to, you know, to get our first customer. From the first to the hundred, did you believe you would sell a hundred T-shirts or a hundred trousers or a hundred, I don't know, basically apparel? Did you think you'd sell a hundred? I have uh, had my eyes on thousands. Okay. You know, currently we we sell our products in thousands. Right. Uh, and I feel very happy about the fact that how uh, the core team at Human, you know, uh, uh, organically has reached till here. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know. Um, no, and and I love it, right? The reason I ask you this question about the first one and the journey of getting to a hundred is because a lot of people just don't want to take that step, man. Yeah. It's that fear to say, "What if I just fail?" And here you are. You uh, had a different job before this. No. So you always believed in this. Yeah. So I was an assistant to one of our very cool Indian designers, Abhishek okay. Gupta yeah. and Nandita Basu, and they had a collective label called Phytocog. Lovely. Uh, they are the only bosses that I had after college. Did you leave in good terms, or were you yeah, a fighter yeah. cock? Okay, you weren't. Okay, good. No, no, no. I, <laughs> you know, it was such a because again goes back to my foundation. You know, uh, right. he was a strict boss. Yeah. But I'm so grateful for how strict he was, because that was the foundation of me. You know, as a designer, uh, we had to do late nights. Uh, and that time it would not make sense i would feel like i would want to leave the job and i want to call up i ca- i call i used to call up my dad i'm like this is not working for me you know it, uh, and then he would tell me that you know this is your growing stage yeah. you need to stick by because where I, where else are you going to learn how hard it is to actually set up your thing that's true you and he, and, he's a, and he is a dear friend that's that's good so so the reason i'm asking you about your first to your first 100 is like i said a lot of people wouldn't even want to take that step but you decided to do it you decided to do that and actually set sail what drove you to do that i'll tell you something very uh, funny the story so we started us we started our brand as a as a store right mm, mm. so every time we failed a lot in our in our career <laughs> of 10 years we started our you know brand with a store okay uh borrowed money put uh, you know made a store in hoskas village mm. I, I, who gave you this money uh you know one of our 
friends family the same guy who bought the first t-shirt no 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 okay no. different guy yeah, okay yeah. okay so um so we we you know we started that store and eventually what happened was some accident happened in village and you know it caught fire so through 9 months that store was in the middle of two constructing walls ha uh-huh. so for 9 months i sold one t- uh, you know shirt from that store wow for 9 months and every day we would go to that store fully excited you know that today we're going to uh, you know have a ball and we're going to make sales and again in the evening we would come back uh, feeling like okay there's going to be a day tomorrow for 9 months we did that yeah. and eventually right uh, i think around the 9th month i remember my friend had called me late at night hmm. um at 11 pm or something hmm. that he had an event to go to hmm. and he liked my design so like do you have something i was like yeah, yeah absolutely you know <laughs> like uh, would your shop be open He's like yeah absolutely right now in fact we are talking we are we are at the shop and yeah, i wasn't at the shop <laughs> so i took my keys i went to the store and made my first sale yeah but these are the learning lessons you know then we had to shut the shop was it a door like this or was it a door like this no no it was a door like it was a glass beautiful a glass door, door okay uh, aesthetically very pleasing store right uh, but the again coming back to the plug yeah. the, the first lesson i got from that from that failure was that brand is so important yeah. you know make a brand which people look for which people call other people to you know find an address yeah. for yeah and that is when we started you know we took a took a retour of and another direction and started chasing the brand that we wanted to make that's uh, fascinating because you know when i look at a uh, lot of uh, fashion uh, brands they're constantly evolving right um, like uh, i was recently in uh, thailand and uh, virgil abor's final yeah. collection that he designed was coming out with louis vuitton and it, the amount of fanfare around it and the fact that this man was so young and he revolutionized stuff what i want to understand is are you competing with a market or are you creating a market i think we've we've definitely identified a market you know uh, creative entrepreneurship is about at one hand you have to identify what the what the audience wants hmm 30% of your work goes there Mm. and 70% is always educating the audience to buy into your idea mm. that you know you have something to offer which is not there right but i feel like this is the future and it goes hand in hand you cannot be too arrogant about your you know what you're thinking because you're not just an artist you're an entrepreneur mm. you have a lot of people in your team that are solely depending on your leadership yeah so you have to figure out a space where there is you know money involved and economy involved and eventually at the other end uh, your brand and your soul is involved in mm-hmm. your life you'll have to do a lot of things which will make you money mm. which you don't like to do mm. but eventually you can use that money to do the things that you like to do mm. and creative entrepreneurship is a space you know 70 30 that that yeah. you have to understand what the market needs but at the same time you have to keep pushing your idea yeah so that people buy buy into your idea and your dream so these 9 months where you sold one t-shirt you could have made a child in that period <laughs> <laughs> we did can, in those same 9 months human was born in those 9 months you know <laughs> ah <laughs> nice are we talking about h u m e n <laughs> I wish <laughs> no. unfortunately no okay great <laughs> I so, would need another human being <laughs> to be able to do that so you made this <coughs> now you made this uh, thing in 9 months how do you manage man for 9 months did you ever lose hope no no never never uh hope is hope is very important but it's dangerous and also it's, and it's a grilling process you It know is. Uh, when you start out because when starting out everybody has dreams hmm. you meet somebody in their teenage and everybody wants to conquer the world hmm and people often think that talent is what makes you conquer the world or talent is what you know you know takes, takes you ahead distance. but mm. talent is like a fraction of what is required even if you're the most talentless person i feel like i'm not talented at all mm. but one thing that i 100% know about me that I, is I'm, that i'm honest at what i do and i'm very hard working mm. uh and one thing i also have the skill that i have identified about myself mm. is that i identify great artists mm. uh and i'm like I'll, you know like a sponge मैं चिपक जाता हूँ कि मुझे इससे सीखना है मुझे इसको अपनी टीम में लाना है आई कीप कॉलिंग देम आई एम इन फेमस और फेमस अराउंड माई सर्कल कि मैं टाइम नहीं देखता हूँ फ़ोन घुमाने से पहले मैं दो बजे आइडिया आता है तो आई कॉल अप माई एजेंसी 
एंड नाउ वी हैव अ रैपो कि हाँ प्रणव जस्ट वर्कस डे एंड नाइट वो किसी मेरे टीम को भी सब पता है कि यू कैन यू आई आई डोंट हैव वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस मुझे समझ में नहीं आता है लवली सम लाइक यू मुझे तीन बजे अगर आपको ह्यूमन से रिलेटेड कुछ आ रहा है यू कैन जस्ट रिंग मी आप आई एल बी अवेलेबल एट स्कूल बिकॉज यू नो यू यू इन दिस प्रोसेस यू एंड अप वर्किंग विद सो मेनी काइंड ऑफ पीपल एंड यू स्पोक अबाउट कोलेबरेटिंग विद डिफरेंट आर्टिस्ट यू ऑल्सो डिट कोलेबरेशन विद बोट ऑफ एम राइट Yeah. Oh, how yeah. did that go? A wonderful uh, collaboration. Right. Yes, yeah, so we we did a show together. Mm. Um uh, and I love both products. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, we are also in th- first generation, you know, business. Yeah. Which is, you know, so literally you. both has come out of the last 7 8 years and come you know come uh, become a phenomena yeah fascinating and i was reading up about it yesterday and i figured that the first product they actually made was not even a speaker it was a charging cable yeah oh wow for 1500 bucks on amazon and they sold out they made so much money yeah that they started making speakers and i'm like that is so cool yeah yeah sorry you know, i like this saying. i like the space i think the you know i like the space where both the brands are trying to connect people Yeah. when i look at boards you know uh, communications and marketing yeah. or the space that they are interested in mm. is also uh, you know uh, the younger generation what are what are they interested in mm. are we are we entering that space mm. are we are we making an impact around the younger you know uh, the culture that the younger generation is forming mm. uh, they are so interested in the street space mm. where we are a part of mm. so it comes from a curiosity to be a part of a community rather than just a sales pitch Yeah. and that is how brands are built but how do you keep in touch because now for example you live in delhi uh we're talking about street culture uh and i don't know if delhi is a great uh, uh place for that uh, unlike say uh mumbai uh, uh how do you still stay kind of relevant creative how do you do that i i think over the past 10 years when from the time that we had started out hmm to we are sitting in 2022 mm. where 2012 was our first show mm. and one should look at all the you know uh, brands and people the human has rubbed shoulders with mm. brands come brands go mm. but it's the hardest challenge for a brand is to stay relevant mm. and s- to stick with the times correct and the only way you stay with the times is when you're ahead of your times or you even curious about creating something which is to be in tomorrow right which people are going to be interested tomorrow right and i feel like in the past 10 years humans never gone out of that conversation street is the conversation today mm. so human is a part of that conversation today we started with the, you know people have written uh, about us that human is uh, i remember uh, you know the top androgynous labels of our times mm. or the top sports lux uh, labels of our times or mm. um, tailored clothing there's always been human involved hmm. because fashion is about change hmm. so you have to keep reinventing yourself and at the brand hmm. and that is why finding the core of the brand is hmm. very important and we are storytellers hmm. so that is the crux of the brand you know it, this is all a facade main kurta pajama pehen ke poetry padhta hu main t-shirt pehen kar ke gym jata hu to aap mujhe kapde dekh kar ke aap mujhe kaise club kar sakte ho ki pranav ye hai but we care that the clothes don't make it the man is that yeah, not exactly. a saying they exactly. kept arguing with me saying no it's manners don't make it the man i said it's clothes <laughs> you know what school did you go to yeah, yeah clothes so don't make it the man and yeah. for me also i am a fashion entrepreneur but kapde importance nahi rakhte mere liye in mm. fact most of the human campaigns that we've done mm. uh, mere friends and community mein mazak hai ki kapde kahan hai <laughs> so i'm like kapde mein main interested hi nahi hu ha main logo mein interested hu i ha. like i like i like people i like skin i like the way their bodies move i like the way they smile i like the way they think hmm. and mera naam hi brand ka human hai hmm. so kapde to ek tarah se bas aapka reflection hona chahiye ki aap insaan kaise ho aur hmm. insaan unidimensional nahi hota hai jaise main poetry likhta hu to aisa nahi hai ki main you know uh, apne romanticize kar raha hu past ko aur hamesha baith kar ke main you know khidki ke bahar dekh kar ke poetry likh raha hu hmm. i'm coming to my silliest jokes Hmm. you know uh, hmm. you, uh, i'm using curse words hmm. i'm listening to rap hmm. I, i i had a whole metal day you know uh, metal phase in bangalore when i was studying i was the lead vocalist of my metal band no what college did you go to uh, nift bangalore oh you're a nift yeah, yeah. yeah okay so oh. i was had that phase so right. people are multi dimensional right so that is the space where you have to keep reinventing and i think human has just become relevant is he street is how re- how we define relevance today in right. terms of fashion space right 
इट्स जस्ट अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट और मुझे एक तरह से ना एक पुश मिलता है जैसे ही ज्यादा लोग निकले रखते ना कि ह्यूमन ये है तो मुझे ऐसा हम श्यामा और मुझे दोनों को है कि यू नो हमें अनकंफर्टेबल होता है जहाँ पे कोई बॉक्स कर देता ना कि ये ऐसा है हम लाइक श्यामा वी नीड टू गेट आउट ऑफ योर सो स्ट्रीट इज समथिंग विच आई डोंट वांट टू बी यू नो एसोसिएटेड विद डायरेक्टली राइट इट्स जस्ट कि वो आई एम फीलिंग दैट वे Wow. It might that feeling might not be there for another five years. I might just get into probably dresses or lehengas for that matter. Who knows yeah, how right. I'd feel sure. tomorrow? Yeah, you know. But yeah. clothes is just a reflection of we how we want to communicate. That's a that's an art form. You uh, also had um, a series of uh, uh, human uh, clothes and apparel uh, with with Charles uh, Bukowski. And uh, in conversation, you were telling me that you really liked him as well because he was German. Yeah. moved to america yeah. and made such a huge difference there culturally is that is is he one of your heroes he's yeah definitely he's one of my heroes in more uh, ways than one uh, he actually in 2014 uh, that's also a very interesting story i met this girl in one of my bangalore trips yeah to uh, it was 2013 end okay. and we went on a date and um, and eventually she gave me this book um that was the first book and i was not a reader i would would not take interest in reading okay i'm very arrogant back then and on the first date she gifted you a book yeah okay so so you go out on this date for, with this lovely lady yeah. and and then uh, you know uh, and then it was it was a beautiful time and then she gave me this you know i'm reading this artist these days you should read you'll really like so you like charles bukowski you met this girl and i think it did change a massive part of your life because eventually you made a collection Uh, featuring did, him we did how did you manage to do that how did that happen so i read i think around you know i i started reading his work mm. uh, because it was dynamic and it was explosive mm. uh, you know bam 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 just the way he writes mm. i read many of his books i think around 25 30 books i've read of bukowski wow uh, and then i told shama i was like you know i f- i feel like you know we should have because as artists you know human is a reflection of who we are right and i've this guy has had so much change inside me yeah uh, and we i want to communicate that yeah so me chime also read some of his work and then she also you know like the idea yeah and then long story short the, i i looked at one of one of his portraits i found online okay. bukowski's um and i was like this is who bukowski is hmm. that i've identified through his work hmm. and i want to use this portrait hmm. so अब मुझे लग रहा है 89 या 90 में जब वो पोर्ट्रेट खींचा गया था कि जिसने खींचा होगा वो भी कहाँ बुका उसकी भी नहीं है mm. वो भी कहाँ होगा सो so, मुझे पता चला यू नो मार्क है नॉर इज दिस गाय हुट शॉट उसका वेबसाइट था ईमेल एड्रेस था रोड टू हिम दैट यू नो आई जस्ट स्टार्टेड आउट एंड वी कैन नॉट पे यू फॉर द पोर्ट्रेट बट वी वुड डेफिनेटली यू नो गिव यू अ फ्यू प्रोडक्ट्स अगेंस्ट दिस बट आई वुड लव टू यूज दिस एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट योर परमिशन एंड द नेक्स्ट डे ही रोड टू मी दैट यू नो पीपल have stolen this portrait left right and center that is the most famous portrait of bukowski yeah and he's like i i love that you're requesting my you know your permission my permission yeah so he just gave me the rights to that portrait it's amazing right because you go out there to a mall today and there are hundreds of brands um and people like to look good i believe that every human being you know tiny way is a little bit of a narcissist we want to look nice whether it's admiring ourselves in front of a mirror or the way we look our appearance um how do you match up with a brand like zara h&m uh you know kids just walk in pick t-shirts pick a jeans walk out of there how do you match up with that the idea is not to compete with fashion brands in general the hmm. idea is to you know to create a community around how different we are as human beings hmm. uh, how diverse we are hmm. and to actually be able to connect with people hmm. clothes is just the medium and very honestly however i feel or we feel at human we are putting it out there okay. so agar main compete karne lagu ki iski t-shirt badi achhi hai to i my agenda will be to how to make a better t-shirt or a better jacket than that brand wo agenda hi nahi hai hmm. uh, if magar main compete karne lagu ki mujhe apne sabse talked about fashion show create karna hai hmm. to my agenda is different hmm. fir i am not actually telling you who i am you guys are essentially a piece of art and you're building a community through maybe apparel for now but this could change that's what you're saying right yeah 
That's lovely. Yeah, it's it's not a rigid space. No, it's not a rigid space. And coming back to competing with brands, the idea is not to you know make people look good. The idea no. is for them when they wear human to feel, to good. feel good. You know, ki uh, again sustainability ke around itna dialogue hota hai mm. fashion industry mein. Mm. And I'm making T-shirts, but mm. there has not been a one product that I've made in the past ten years of human. Just me, we have not put a story. तो आप किताब पढ़ते हो लाइब्रेरी से आपको मैं दे रही हूँ आपको मैं दे रहा हूँ एक प्रोडक्ट दे रहा हूँ आपने अपनी वॉर्ड्रोब में डाला आप जब भी उठाओगे उसके पीछे एक कहानी है इट्स नॉट जस्ट अ टी शर्ट टी शर्ट तो मैं बाय प्रोडक्ट है या टी शर्ट तो मैं बेच ही नहीं रहा हूँ मैं आपको जैकेट तो बेच ही नहीं रहा हूँ मैं आपको कहानी दे रहा हूँ मैं अपनी कहानी सुना रहा हूँ अब आप उसको कहा किताब में कंज्यूम करो पॉडकास्ट में सुनो आप उसको म्यूजिक लाइब्रेरी में देखो कैसे भी देखो आपको मेरी कहानी मिल रही है लवली सो एवरी टाइम आई सी सम वेरिंग ह्यूमन टी शर्ट ऑलवेज अ स्टोरी आई एम पीस ऑफ आर्ट मूविंग अराउंड स्टोरी अ स्टोरी या Wow, man! I'm not not to say that if that's art or not. They, you will you will know whether it's not art that's or not. I, that's you know? why I call it art. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because art. if it makes you feel, it's art. If it doesn't wow. make you feel, it's not art. Yeah. But definitely, it's a story. You should always, as artist, get out of your comfort zone and put your throw yourself into situations which are uncomfortable. Right. Because that's the only way you're going to evolve. Right. Because large part of it is again the brand's foundation is people. So if we're not doing it, it's because we're not understanding people. You know. Lovely. I love it. I love it. I'm so enjoying this conversation because you've got the brand and the reason and the vision behind the brand so at the heart of this entire conversation. Now there are so many young fashion designers, um, entrepreneurs, artists who are going to be tuning in and listening to this. What would your advice to them be? I don't know if I'm qualified to give advice. Yeah. But uh, I can only say, you know, from my point of view, that I have grown. only with people you know and i keep saying it and i'm very grateful that you know uh, that people have taught me so much or mm. the society has taught me so much mm. so you have to you uh, earlier on i think when we started out or when i started out there is uh, when you're ch- when you're a child or when you're growing up mm. and when you're artistic mm. it starts with an emotion of arrogance you feel like you're very good and you feel like you're very cool hmm. uh, but uh, entrepreneurship is a space jaise maine bhi apni kavita mein likha tha kahin pe likh raha tha ki kar kaam karte karte na wo entrepreneurship aisa space hota hai ki wo aapko haath jodna sikha deta hai and haath phailana nahi haath jodna and haath jodna is a gesture where you start respecting people hmm. because you are a nobody yeah. and you know if you If you give yourself too much importance, कि मैं बहुत intelligent हूँ मैं बहुत creative हूँ hmm. आप कहीं नहीं जा पाओगे hmm. You will need a team, you will need a community, you will need people to understand who you are, Lovely. and then buy into your idea, and then एक की जगह दस दिमाग काम कर रहे होंगे दस hmm. लोग आपके बारे में आपको बोलना भी नहीं पड़ेगा दस लोग आपके बारे में बोलेंगे कि इनके कपड़े अच्छे हैं या यू नो ये ब्रांड मुझे पसंद है आप कितना भी बोलोगे अगर लोगों को नहीं लग रहा है तो वो यू नो आफ्टर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम लोग वॉल्यूम बंद कर देंगे अब सुनेंगे भी नहीं एंड नाउ टू यू नो बैक टू पोएट्री बिकॉज यू हैव क्लियरली लिव्ड लाइफ व्हिच इज क्वाइट पोएटिक मैन आई मीन यू हैव बीन थ्रू अप्स एंड डाउन्स एंड इट ऑल काइंड ऑफ राइम्स एंड सिंग्स एंड सिट्स इन अ रिदम टुगेदर um have you written something that you'd like to share with us it could be something that motivates people listening to us inspires people listening to us <laughs> you know this is like i guess the wall i, okay, I can't think okay what poetry do you remember do you remember a poetry of yours ek cho ek chhota sa you know one line i keep jab bhi koi mujhe aise bolta hai na to ek chhota sa maine is part of one of my podcasts kabhi kabhi sochta hu ke un do baahon ke siwa jin mein khwab ek ummeed thoda sa jism एक मोहब्बत और एक दिल समा जाए उससे ज्यादा कीमती और नायाब क्या हो सकता है द आइडिया ऑफ अ पर्सन कि जिसके साथ आप मोहब्बत कर पाओ जिसके साथ आप बैठ पाओ यू uh, नो you know, आप चीजें शेयर कर पाओ उससे ज्यादा वैल्यूएबल चीज तो कुछ भी नहीं है yeah. basically this man is human thank you so much pranav this has been a great conversation uh, for more of these conversations follow me on instagram follow boat my handle is danish said and what's yours pranav ki no talk about human what oh. is human <laughs> i'm kidding no that's pranav just and under, underscore human underscore human yeah yeah that's about it underscore a human but never like write off a human I never write off this human thank you very thank much thank you pranav. danish it was lovely talking to you thank you